So this video is a little bit different from the usual things that uh, Sirium does. In this case, we've walked a mile in uh, a specific case of end users that some of our customers have. And the end users we're talking about are draft people and draft people that use AutoCAD. Now the principles we're going to show in this video do apply to DevOps, NetOps, SysOps and the general development environment. Now, for our draft people that are using AutoCAD 2022, it's really an ecosystem that's got loads and loads of add-ins. It's a very big application and it's got loads of add-ins. And those add-ins do really useful things like they communicate to external databases to pull in and out components. They do things like clash testing. They do things like converting formats. So you can import um, a drawing that was created by a different company and get it into your own standards. But, all of this needs local admin rights and the problem is if you've got your people in your drafting department and your design department operating with local admin rights and communicating with customers and internal people it's the perfect recipe for ransomware to take hold because 90 percent of ransomware that's out there needs the victim to have local admin rights in order to lodge the drivers that they need to encrypt the disk drives so by using AutoCAD and by installing all the applications and looking at what people do, we've been able to use our privileged endpoint management product to create policies that allow you to take local admin rights away from your drafts people's account, but by policy, grant them back process elevation for all the things that they need to do, which is installing add-ins, repairing add-ins, upgrading add-ins, and even uh, uninstalling add-ins. Anyway, let's get started and show you the examples of what happens when you take the local admins rights away and what happens when you uh, grant the access back using Privilege Endpoint Management. Okay, so first of all, we're going to show that my account, which doesn't have local admin rights, can't do the full AutoCAD install. Um, and that's because I work at Assyrium and, you know, we eat our own dog food, as they say. So there you go. That says the process requires elevation. So now we're going to do the same thing, but run as administrator using PEM. And at this very next stage, we are going to put in exactly the same credentials because the process is going to be elevated, uh, not the user's account. Um, so once this is up and running, we're going to see an absolute super fast, because we speeded it up uh, by 13,000%, I think, install of uh, AutoCAD, and that will take us up to the reboot stage. And the interesting thing about this is that the install continues after the reboot, um, and we'll want to see that, because we'll want to see that the process elevation is surviving the reboot. And then, obviously, the final thing that we want to see is that uh, AutoCAD is up and running um, using my account, which has no local admin rights. Right, so we know the drill now that we can install things uh, using Runners Administrator with PEM, and we know that we can enter uh, the credentials. So here we go, that's me entering my credentials again, and we're going to install uh, a couple of add-ins actually. Um, and normally these add-ins are really quick. What's interesting though is that add-ins uh, can come in both MSI flavor and executable flavor, but basically this is what you do. So that was Meteor Spec, and the next one we're going to do is the clash testing, which I think is really super quick actually. So what does this look like on the PEM server itself? Here is the elevation log and you can see that the bottom events have been denied and the top events have been allowed and that top one's been expanded so you can see exactly what it is. This lot maps into policy. The top two policies there are an example of what would happen if you have an authorised directory to put kits and things in. The third one is uh, AutoCAD itself and the last two are examples of an MSI and an executable, one signed and one unsigned. So let's take this example. You want to remove an add-in from within AutoCAD, uh, but because AutoCAD is running without local admin rights, when you try to do it, 
it will go off and ask you for um, some credentials. So we're going to put in our credentials here and then it's going to tell us, sorry, the process needs elevation. So in this next example, we can run AutoCAD with PEM and go for the uninstall again. Here we go. And this time it will shut down AutoCAD as it did last time. The uninstall will run to completion and the adding is disappeared just as you need it. OK, then, so what did we learn from all that testing of Privilege Endpoint Management and AutoCAD 2022? We learned that it is perfectly feasible for you to take local admin rights away from your drafting users that use that application. We learned that it was perfectly possible for you to set up a directory somewhere on the network and put all the known good add-ins and versions of the software in there and allow by policy people to install from there. We also learned that it's possible to run AutoCAD 2022 with PEM in administrator mode and then your individual users can then run the add-in manager and remove and update applications as they see fit. Anyway, there you are and there it was. If you like what you see, please slap like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.